y'all. So today I'm going to be doing a craft and that is showing you how to make these adorable little candy holders. Now you have probably seen them all over the place. I know I have, but they are so cute and so easy and you can make them your own. You can pick your own colors, your own decorations, uh, and you can use these at any time of the year. This does not have to be just to Easter. It can be any holiday or a just because day. Uh, so anyway, let's just go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to put one of these adorable little candy holders together. Okay, so this is uh, the little candy jar uh, that I made. Uh, it is so very easy to make these and uh, quite inexpensive to make. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you what you're probably going to need to make uh, your candy jars. You're just going to need some kind of a jar. It doesn't matter if it's a candy jar, uh, maybe an old pickle jar or a jelly jar or just, you know, a jar that you just have laying around the house. It does not matter. Uh, you just want to make sure that it has some kind of a lid unless you're not going to put a candy in here that has uh, not been wrapped. Now if you're going to put in candy that's uh, wrapped you don't necessarily have to have a lid but if you're going to have some candy that's not wrapped you may want to be sure you have a lid. Also you're going to need a candlestick. Now um, my candlestick and my lid I just took some regular white spray paint and I spray painted them now you do not have to use white you can use um, pink blue yellow green purple whatever color that uh, you like but I just chose to use white in this case and you're also going to need maybe a little bit of super glue and also some E6000 glue to adhere your uh, glass uh, jar to your candlestick. So after you've sprayed your candlestick and after you've sprayed your lid, um, you want to go ahead and get it glued together. Now you do not have to spray them at all um, or you can spray them white, um, you know, or pink or green like I said, but you don't have to spray them at all. You can leave them clear. This was just a basically a clear candlestick just like this. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my super glue here and I'm going to glue um, this part of my lid uh, to this part. Now if you were to use a, um, a pickle jar or something like that that's not a canning jar lid then you wouldn't have to, to, to glue this part because there's uh, you know it just is one full lid so uh, if you do not do that you don't have to do this step but I'm just going to take a little bit of my super glue just go right around um, the edge of the lid that's going to go into um, this part of the lid and I'm just going to set it right on top of there turn it over and I'm just gonna let that sit there and dry really really good um, and that's it for the super glue now this part here um, that you glue um, the candlestick and the glass jar together with this E6000 glue. It takes about 24 hours for it to set up. So that's why I went ahead and did this uh, one and then this one because, um, you know, you didn't want to wait 24 hours for me to finish this video. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get that glue together and then I'll be setting this aside and filling it with candy later. Um, but you're just going to take your glue and just go right around the edge of your glass holder. Like this, like so very easy and we're just going to set that um, glass jar right on top and just make sure that you have it on there centered okay and that's gonna be it for about 24 hours until this dries really really good so I'm just gonna set that aside okay uh, so now that you have, let's pretend this one has been uh, sitting for 24 hours, which it has, but um, I've glued the other one and this is one that I had ready to show you what to do next. And let's see here, which one is my, this is my lid that I've already glued. Um, now if you want to go ahead and decorate your lid, you can. I've made these, just these little bitty bows that have little um, Easter eggs on them. Now you can decorate this maybe with a bunny or an egg that you have painted and um, anything on here that you wanna put, that's gonna be your decision. But I thought it would be really cute also to have a little wooden egg on top. Wouldn't that be adorable? Or a little bunny that you have painted. Uh, that would be oh so cute. Um, but I'm just going to take my bow and just add a little bit of hot glue 
to it and I'm just going to attach it right to the top of my lid like so. And of course you all know that I like bows so <laughs> I had to make some bows um, and just that'll set up really really quick. Now to your um, uh, jar you can add any kind of candy now because of Easter I am going with the Easter colors and the Easter theme so I've got some oh some Reese's peanut butter cups in here some Rolos some Hershey's kisses some Hershey's eggs uh, just all different kinds of candy and I'm just going to fill up my little jar and it's just gonna look so Eastery absolutely love this now, like I say, you can, um, this would make a great uh, Mother's Day gift and you could maybe put your mom's favorite candy in there or this is gonna work great for Valentine's and for Easter, of course, is what we're doing for. And um, just any season that you want, you can use this for and you can use it just because too. You do not have to have a certain season uh, for your candy jar. Now, isn't that just too adorable and this is the other one that I did so and then when I finish uh, my last one uh, it'll be sitting here as well I'm gonna have it in groups of three now on of these jars you do not have to use the same size jar you can use a smaller jar and a bigger jar uh, so it does not have to be the same, but these are the ones that I had, so I just went ahead and used them. But that would be so cute if you had a, a bigger jar and then a smaller jar, and you'd kind of have like a little um, a little display there that would be oh so cute. But anyway, that was just an idea for you to make your very own uh, candy jars. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this craft tutorial on how to make your very own candy jars. They are so adorable, so cute. Absolutely love them. Uh, and they're going to be sitting on my uh, entryway table. That way when somebody comes over, if they want to have some candy, well, they can just help themselves. Uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye now.